And since I have certainly been missing a lot of you and I've gotten some feedback that you're missing some of our, our spirit and wine events, uh, we're going to do what we can in these troubled times to kind of bring some events uh, into you and break up the monotony of you uh, sheltering in place at home. Um, so we're going to do a, a bartender series here over the next couple of weeks. Uh, and the first thing I thought I'd start off with is uh, the importance of the right tools. So years ago, uh, a chef that was working with me told, told me that the, uh, uh, the biggest difference between professional chefs uh, and home chefs was two things. Number one, having the right tools, and number two, garnishes. And that, in his opinion, was the sum total uh, difference. Um, and so what we have here uh, laid out in front of us is some of what I consider uh, the basic needs for a, a home bartender. Um, probably the most important is what's called a Boston shaker. So we have all these items available at Vine and Table, but you can also uh, use anything that could, could substitute. Uh, this is my favorite version of a shaker where it's just a pint glass and a, a 16 ounce uh, tin shaker. That's the one that I've always used historically. Um, also like to have um, a, a sharp knife, um, a Y peeler for uh, zesting an orange, um, or I'm sorry, for peeling an orange, uh, a zester. Um, and then I, what I have here is three different uh, juicers uh, for your home juicing needs. Uh, if you decide only to get one, I would definitely go with the lemon, uh, the yellow one. So you can do smaller ones in there and then you can also cut an orange down. Uh, you can see here on the bottom uh, where you can juice those and not have any of the seeds go into your, uh, uh, into your mix or your drink. Um, as you can see here, I've got my mise en place ready just like I would with any recipe. So I juiced this, uh, this, this lime um, about an hour ago. Um, there's some fancy reasons going on that I'm not smart enough to know. Uh, but if you are going to juice a lime or a lemon, uh, they do have some oxidation after you juice them and they actually taste better um, probably an hour and a half to two hours after the initial one and they'll last for about six hours after that. After that, the quality does uh, start to degrade. Um, so for something like that, you want to do that by shift or you know, by uh, every time you make them. Uh, a couple other things is some jiggers. Um, I have two here. Um, this is a uh, half ounce and a one ounce and a three quarter ounce and a two ounce. Um, but the one I have at home um, is gradiated, so on the inside you can do all of those in the same jigger. Uh, but for today's purposes, I'm just using what I have at hand. Um, and so the first, uh, the first in our series uh, is we are gonna learn how to margarita. Um, and of course the phone's ringing. Uh, so the first thing, uh, I'm a big fan of two things when it comes to wine and mixology. Uh, an old chef told me one time that the better the wine, the better the sauce. Um, the same thing goes for cocktails. Um, but you can also go too far with that. Uh, I'm not trying to make a uh, $100 tequila into a margarita. Uh, for me, those higher end margarita or, uh, tequilas are, are much more enjoyed, you know, sipping something like an after dinner or just uh, with a little bit of a lime. Uh, so what I've chosen uh, for us today is the uh, Cimarron Blanco. Um, this is actually a third label of the Fonta Seca family, which is probably one of the most prominent tequila producers in the world. Um, and this is a liter bottle. I think it's $24.99. Um, so this is actually really good. You can just drink this on the rocks with a lime, um, but it's also a value. So anytime I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cocktail for the most part, I want to get a big bang for my buck and the Cimarron brings it. Uh, so the next ingredient in a, uh, in a margarita is some kind of orange liqueur. Most of you are probably familiar with triple sec. Um, a lot of people can make a, you know, a, a, a top shelf margarita and go with Grand Marnier. Uh, my personal choice is the uh, Pierre Ferrand Dry Carousel. Uh, so this would be on a quality level with Grand Marnier, but actually a little bit less expensive. Also, uh, for those of you who are trying to be a little healthier, uh, this has a lower sugar and a lower glycemic index than Grand Marnier. Um, you can drink this plain, you can drink, I can pour this over ice cream. Uh, this, is a, this is a game changer as far as quality ingredients. Also a little less expensive than, than Grand Marnier. Uh, then I also have, um, as opposed to making a simple syrup, I have the Dos Manos uh, Agave Nectar. Again, also a little more healthy for you and a much lower glycemic index than sugar. Um, and then the fourth ingredient is uh, my lime juice that I squeezed earlier. <clears throat> so uh, my margarita recipe is pretty simple. I'll start off with a half ounce of the Pierre Ferrand Dry Carousel. Into the shaker, a half ounce 
of the agave nectar. That's going to be a little thicker, so I'll give that a chance to kind of run into the shaker. And then one full ounce, which is going to be two of these, of lime juice. Also have a mat down to catch any of my dribbles. But at home, you can just use a towel or just wipe up after you're done. And then two ounces of the Cimarron Blanco tequila. And again, um, whenever I make anything, uh, cocktail or cooking, uh, the first time I make it, I follow the recipe to the T. Um, after that, I start playing around with things. Uh, don't be afraid to experiment. And, uh, and you know, if you like it a little more boozy, add a little bit more tequila. If you like it a little sweeter, add a little bit more of the agave nectar. Another kind of crucial ingredient that I, or tool that I, I had somewhere um, is called a Hawthorne strainer. So we have one of these here, um, but I'm gonna do the, uh, the old bartender crack and egg trick. And then I already have my, uh, my garnish ready to go and Today's margarita. Cimarron tequila, uh, Pierre Fran dry carousel, Dos Manos uh, agave nectar, and some freshly squeezed lime juice. Cheers. Mm.